Hello viewers, my name is Adam and this is Seeking Media Productions. And in this video, I am reviewing IT Chapter 2. This is the first major blockbuster in the fall 2019 season. And a lot of people are wondering, just how does IT Chapter 2 end? Um, at least how well the response is. Because going into this, a lot of reviews already know, knowing, especially based on Rotten Tomatoes, that this film is getting some mixed responses. Which is not really surprising since the, both the novel and the second miniseries, uh, the second part of the miniseries back in the 90s, um, the second half is very underwhelming. Especially since how well regarded the first part of it, of 2017, compares to the original miniseries. To discuss this further, let's begin with the story. It Chapter 2 takes place 27 years after the events of the first film, where the Losers Club journeys back to Derry, Maine to defeat Pennywise once and for all. Throughout its nearly three hour runtime, the movie had deals with the three act structure of the gang coming back together, finding they're just going their separate ways in which they gather uh, gather things and know about uh, how to defeat Pennywise and then the final act is the final confrontation. Throughout this film we get a series of multiple scary sequences and um, and also flashbacks of the past younger selves of the Losers Club. What I find troublesome is how repetitive a lot of this material is, especially with um, so much of the content being stripped down to a very bare minimum plot. I'm not even trying to um, make comparisons from the novel as adapted from and also the 1990 miniseries of the same name, but there, throughout this runtime, it barely utilizes anything that's dived deep into what really makes it terrifying. Like, so much of the film loses its context behind the horror. Uh, especially with, you know, there's some grisly images and um, haunting imagery. There's, there's not really much to go on from here. So much of the film is basically more of the same of what you saw in the first part back in 2017. Something which um, may be entertained for some, but there is a time in which, like, really, they needed to do something different here. And going to compare from the novel, there is so much from there that it could have easily been used in this film as well. And from there, I'll discuss it much more further with the characters. So now, to be fair, the actors in this film does a good job of conveying the personalities of a much more mature group of Blizzard Club gang. Easily standouts is Bill Hader among the group who's portraying the much older Richie Toyser. Um, the actor who plays uh, much older Eddie also deserves some praise as well. But among the other core members, so much of the material could have been used to help flesh out their roles and their adult selves because they don't really have much material. The film is an ensemble piece, and even though the actors do a good job of portraying the personalities and fundamentals of what the younger versions or the younger actors portrayed in the first part, the story or the plot that follows through that's in the second half of the story isn't really emphasized as well. Mike, who you know, from the last one didn't really have much of a role, um, is essentially the exposition character of the story. But even then, it feels out of place because you have a flashback with him that states that he like essentially was like the first person who wanted to leave, but why is he the one who is staying in the first place? I feel as though that it's a very jarring um, plot device to where just because it happens in a book doesn't really translate well onto screen. The main character in the Losers Club, which is Bill, also has so much material that's stripped away and it shows here as when so much of what goes on in this film is really chopped up into very snippets and because um the second half is so scattered um multiple to keep multiple characters doing their own thing you don't really get the sense of the weight and the narrative movement or plot movement between the characters themselves 
Beverly, who is the only sole female character in this film, also has a very, very um, downward spiral as far as, as far as character development goes. As she is basically just a victim of the relationships that she goes through. But the main elephant in the room about characters is Pennywise himself. There should have been so much material that goes from here. Especially since it should have had its own voice. Like we needed to see his perspective of things. And we needed to know the reasons why he, he utilizes fear to consume his victims in the first place. And with the horrific acts, um, the production here um, is a standout. With them having a clear budget increase that helps utilize the grand scope of what is, go is going on. Especially near the last third of the film. Where, it's the, where the main spectacle of the when the horror starts ramping up. There are some dodgy visual effects here, mainly with the de-aging of characters that probably should not even have been um, used in the first place, but it's when it comes to mood music. It's serviceable at best. And also when it comes to the, the actual horrific acts, um, so much of the film is very quick when it comes to the scares or the brutal murders that do occur. It kind of undercuts it as far as what why it's so frightening in the first place. So... Going forward, when this horror films in general, I need audiences still need that balance between when to linger on a scene or when to really abruptly show something. I think overall, I will give this film an okay rating. Um, there, there is some stuff that's still worth looking at, mainly because the performances of the actors are still solid, and mainly from Bill Scar, Scarred and Bill Hader. And the, even though the film is essentially on nearly just three hours of frightening material with no context, I still find some enjoyment, in may, but it's mainly towards the third act where something occurs that's probably going to be la long-lasting appeal. Okay, everyone, that was my review for It Chapter 2. My name is Adam, and this has been a Seeking Media Productions. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and also hit the notification bell for other upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.